welcome back. This week I watched Goonies. Stay tuned. Let's see if it holds up. Yeah. Watch an old movie. Gonna see if it holds up. Goonies is the classic kids adventure movie. It's got action. It's got chase scenes. It's got booty traps. Booby trap. That's what I said. Booby traps. It's got everything you want out of a movie, um, especially as a kid. Pirates, um, although I don't know how the pirates got up to the Oregon coast. Um, maybe I need to do a history test because I didn't think there were pirates there. But um, this movie has pretty much everything you're looking for, and I think that's why it's remained a classic over time. Um, so let's go over it. Let's see if it actually holds up after... 25 years or 30 years. It's been quite a while since that movie came out back in 1985. So, An ensemble group of kids um, led by Sean Astin um, who grew up to be a pretty decent actor in his own time, in his own way. Um, we've got Josh Brolin, the older brother. Um, and everybody knows Josh Brolin. Uh, he's, uh, he's made it in Hollywood as well. Um, and I thought he did a pretty good job as the uh, the caring older brother who's trying to be kind of macho. Um, and then you've got Corey Feldman, um, who up to that point had already starred in a couple of movies. Um, I believe uh, before Goonies came out, I think he was in Stand By Me and uh, had a small role in Gremlins. Um, and then he went on to obviously do the, uh, the teenage heartthrob movies with Corey Haim. Um, so, uh, and then you had a few other supporting cast members. Um, <clears throat> you've got Short Round from uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom um, as da Data. And, uh, and then you've got Chunk who killed it, and I don't think I've seen him anywhere else. Uh, I think he grew up to be a lawyer along with, uh, along with Data. But um, all in all, for a bunch of kids, it, you know, in this movie, they do a really good job. It's fairly believable. Um, that they're that they're you know they're on this adventure and they they have motivation you know to save the goon dogs and um, uh, I think uh, you know you have a hard time sometimes ensembling kids to do a movie because you never know what you're going to get out of them and uh, I believe uh, everything worked here they they all came together all did a good job they worked well together um, played off of each other and uh, it turned out to be uh, you know, classic. There's a lot of cool things in this movie, um, you know, and, and every kid watching it wants to go on this adventure from the Fratellis as the bad guys, um, you know, and uh, break it into their hideout and find in the, the money printing machine and they get all excited because they think they've got all the money now to save the goondocks. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, the adventure begins where they go down into the fireplace and, and now it's, you know, it's an adventure underground where nobody's ever been. You know, they find, you know, Chester Copperpot dead under a boulder after being struck by one of the booby traps and, and now nobody's been this far and every kid wants that. Every kid is looking for that adventure. They want to be the first ones there. They want to discover it. Um, and this movie gives it to you. In addition to the, the fun nature of the adventure, uh, being chased by the Fratellis, you got the, the pirate theme going on. Um, there's definitely some stakes because, you know, at any point around the corner, they could be crushed by a boulder or fall down a pit into, in, into some spikes and they could die. So um, you definitely feel the stakes also feeling the light-hearted, fun-natured um, kids movie. So, in that sense, I'm, I'm thinking uh, they did a really good job putting everything together in this movie. The movie's fun. The movie is exciting. The pirate ship, gold, jewels, and treasure. They're gonna win and save the goondocks. The Fratellis walk the plank. A chunk arrives. The sloth. Hey, you guys! An adventure, a battle, explosions, marble bag, jewel. Shove it in the rich guy's face. Stupid snotty kid, and and they win at the end. 
great movie, classic movie, and uh, here we are, you know, 20, 30 years later, yeah, 30 years later, um, and this movie still holds up, still holds up, so I'd go check it out.